for 1A, what did we say is the best measure of center? So you have two options, mean or median. Mean because 1A is, because 1A is symmetrical. If I put a line down the middle, it is a mirror image on both sides. What about 1B? Mean as well. Yes, it is also symmetrical. Now, what about for 1A, what's the best measure of variability? Mad SZ. They're both very similar measurements. Um, like the numbers are pretty close to each other. It's hard to say which is better, um, but definitely not the IQI. So yeah. What about for a mean? All right, so anytime the mean is the better measure of center, so the data is symmetrical, the standard deviation or MAD will be the better measure of variability. So then which of these other ones also would be better with the mean? Any disagreements there? I only hear one person participating. So you look at it. They should be written down. Not to be sleeping. You should be writing these down. We'll find or check it tomorrow. That's a second point. All right. So, yeah, this is the metrical. So, you need um, to be as well. Therefore, what are my automatic choices for variability? All right, so even when the data is more to one side, still if I draw a line down the middle of the data, it's easier on both sides. Um, 3A, what's the better measure of center? Median, because the data can be skewed. If it was skewed, what direction would it be skewed in? Less skewed. Um, so yeah. So then when the median is the better measure of center, what's the best measure of center? I lost. What about 3B? What's the better measure of center? What's the better measure of spread? Good. Hopefully, we're seeing the patterns now. 4A, mean because the data is symmetrical. 4B, also mean because when it's uniform, it is also therefore what are my better measures of variability? Not a standard deviation. But, um box plots now, those are fun. Um 5A. Would you say that that box plot is symmetrical or not symmetrical? No. The whispers aren't that even in length, the medians more to one side. So what's the better measure of center? Median. Therefore, my better measure of spread is good. What do we think for 5B? Same thing. Median and IQR because the data is not symmetrical or skewed in one direction. Looking at 5B, would you say that it's left skewed or right skewed? Right. Anyone else care to chime in? Who thinks it's left skewed? All right, then you would be correct. So you have to remember box plots. These are basically separated into quarters. Here's 25% of my data. Here's another 25%, here's another 25%, and then here's the last 25%. Did I count that wrong? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four quarters. You can see that on the first 25%, that long whisker, the data is more spread out. All right, so that means that maybe there's an outlier over there. Um, there's fewer, like if this was made into a dot plot, there'd be fewer dots on that side. So that one would be less skewed, just so you know. 
All right, now the descriptions. Let me just make sure that we're right so far. I have the key here, but let's see. Yep, looks like we're doing good so far. All right, um, so then 6A, a political podcast has mostly reviews that either love the podcast or hate it. What type of data distribution do you think that would look like? Let's use one of our vocab words. Remember we had bell-shaped, bimodal. What else did we have? Uniform, skewed, and I feel like I'm missing one. I just don't know which one. So if you either love it or hate it, there's not much in between. What distribution would that most look like? Bimodal. You don't know what bimodal means? Is that what you said? Yeah. Bimodal. So here's an example of a bimodal distribution. It's kind of like U shaped, some people have said. So if it looks like that, what do you think would be the best measure of center? Hold on, I'm double checking the answer. So for it says for the other determinations that it's open to interpretation, I guess. So if it looks like this, what do you think? Me. I guess since you don't know for sure what it looks like, that's why they said it's more open to interpretation. But if it's bimodal, it's usually pretty symmetrical, usually. So we'll go with me if it looks like that. What about a cooking podcast that has reviews that neither hate or love the podcast? So they're more medium, more bell-shaped, good. It probably look something like this. Again, we don't know for sure. But when it's bell shaped, what's usually the likely measure of center we like? The mean. And therefore, mad SD. But if you said median IQR, you know, the answer key doesn't disagree with you. It just doesn't support you super one way or the other. All right, 7A, we have stress testing concrete from site A has all 12 samples break at 450 pounds per square inch. So that one is all on one point, right? Is that what I'm imagining? So if this was on a dot plot, they would all be on the same data point, right? So is that symmetric or not symmetric? So what's the better measure of center? Mean. And therefore the better measure of variability would be mad and vanity gate. 7B, stress testing concrete from site B has samples break every 10 PCI, PSI, sorry starting at 450 PSI until the last core is broken at 560 PSI. What type of distribution would this look like? Uniform. Uniform. It looks like they have like one every 10. No duplicates, it sounds like. Um, so something like this, I didn't draw all the dots. Is that symmetric or not symmetric? So the best measure of center is me. And therefore the best measure of spread is good. Last one, we have stress testing concrete from site C has six samples break at 430 PSI. So one, two, three, four, five, six at one point. And the other six break at 460 SPI. How would you describe the shape of this distribution? 
I guess by modal. I actually wasn't looking for that. I was actually just looking for symmetric or not symmetric, but good. I guess it would be by modal. Um, mean or median? I say it's symmetrical. If you draw a line down the middle, it's even on both sides. That's what I think. I'll check the key right now. And then, therefore, if it's the means the best measure of center, the best measure of spread is NAD and standard deviation. All right. There is one more thing we have to do, and that's go back and talk about between each pair which one has the greater measure of center and greatest measure of variability. So see if you can remember, we'll just do a few of those. Yeah, for number seven, it says, since all three distributions are symmetric, mean and standard deviation are best to use. All right, so in the first set, between A and B, which one do you think would have the greatest measure of center? So like the higher mean. Just because it's taller in the middle. Do you guys remember how to estimate the mean when it's a symmetric data set? You look at the middle value, it would be equal to the median. So like for this one, it's negative 10. For this one, it's negative eight. What's the bigger number? Negative eight or negative 10? So this one would have the higher mean. Would you rather owe someone $8 or $10? Um, and then for variability, which one seems to be most spread out? Okay. Anyone else care to chime in? I'm hearing just Daniel most of Who thinks 1A is the most spread out? Who thinks 1B is the most spread out? The standard distribution for 1A is also greater since most of the data is farther away from the mean than in distribution 1B. So bimodal is always considered more spread out than um, felt tape. Good, and we're gonna skip to A and to B. If you really wanna know, we can talk about it. For 3A and 3B, so when the data is skewed, which one do you think has the higher measure of center? All right, so everyone have an opinion. Do you think it's 3A that has a greater measure of center or 3B? The median for distribution 3A is greater since the center is to the right of the center for the distribution. Okay. My median would be somewhere over here, whereas this median is somewhere over here and they're labeled the same for the number lines. So 3A has the greater measure of center. Now for measure of spread, which one do you think would have a greater IQR? And why do you say that? Because it's more spread out. Good. So it's not always like going to be where the greater measure of center and spread are on the same one, just so you know. It just so happens that it's also the most spread out. All right, let's look at the box plots. Which one do you think has the higher median? Five A, the median is at what number? And in five B, the median is at 
Good. So don't let like the always check the number lines. They're not exactly the same. But when you look at where the median is, this one's at 700, so this one's higher. This one's at 500. Which one would have the greater IQR? So that's kind of the good thing with box plots. You can see the IQR a lot more clearly than I say like the dot plot. Um, it's basically the size of the box. So what's the formula for IQR? Perfect. So then the bigger the box, the bigger the IQR. So this one, 5A, definitely has the higher IQR. Comments, I think that's it. Hopefully, you're seeing the time. Um, there are some questions. Let me see who's also still want to get to our next question. All right, I think that's it. So I'm actually going to give you time to work on your puzzle piece. So we won't necessarily do this without or fine. Um, what's the shape of this distribution? Mostly belt shapes. What's the shape of this distribution? Mostly belt shapes as well. Which one is more spread out? This is the cool down. It's not on your paper. It was just talking about the You don't even have to get it down. Um, but which one is more spread out, the top one or the bottom one? So this one you'd expect to have a higher level. Uh, standard deviation, anything that depends or spread. I think you guys are. All right. So you have a puzzle piece for less than 15. I do also want to start on the safety finger, so I'm going to give you 15 minutes. I feel like there's a lot, but we'll start 15 minutes. 